I'm in the Healing Garden. In the background, you can see a sculpture called the Circle of Love. This is a place to further the healing of abused victims, their families, and the larger Catholic Church family. Here's a report from Diane Dunnigan. Construction of the Healing Garden began last fall. Ground was broken after Cardinal George approved a plan brought to him by a committee that included priests, staff members of the Office for the Protection of Children and Youth, and, most importantly, clergy abuse victims. One of the primary goals is to draw attention to childhood sexual abuse in our society in general. And personally, I felt, and the committee and the Cardinal agree, that this issue, as it has affected our church, should shine a light on childhood sexual abuse and recovering from those tragic stories in our society. More than 25 varieties of trees, plants, and flowers can be found in the Healing Garden. The hope is that God's presence in nature will help individuals in their search for healing and reconciliation. A row of evergreen trees blocking the road so that you won't see beyond it, and a very handsome 75-foot deep garden in front of it. A handsome statue, a sculpture of the Holy Family, sidewalks, benches. So it'll be a very handsome garden for people to come in, pray, sit around, whatever they would like to do. Holy Family Parish on West Roosevelt Road, with a church that survived the great Chicago fire of 1871, is home to the Healing Garden. Coming here to a Holy Family is a place not just for uh, the survivors, but for their families, for others who work uh, with young people, for families, parishioners, for anyone to come to be a part of the healing process in people's lives is a goal of this garden. A beautiful sculpture called the Circle of Love, representing the Holy Family joyfully dancing together, is at the center of the healing garden. The man who created the 600-pound sculpture, Michael Myers, personally drove it here from Arizona and oversaw its installation. Uh, it's primarily what I do, signature bronze sculptures for churches, and I like, and I like when it gets to be outdoors and in a garden setting like here. On June 9th of this year, worshipers filled Holy Family Church for a prayer service and dedication ceremony. The overriding theme of the day was healing the wounds of the past, a theme that could be heard in music, liturgy, and in the words of the Cardinal. This is then uh, what we do today, make visible in a healing garden a permanent voice of victims, a permanent apology on the part of the Church, and a permanent commitment by the ministers of the church and those associated with them in this particular area of our concern that we are there and uh, it is up to the victims to determine how or if at all we are to enter into their lives but that we hope that the Lord will be there and that in the midst of this tragedy there will be the possibility of new life, of resurrection of the heart. The prayer service ended with a candlelit procession from the church to the healing garden. The cardinal blessed the garden along with the circle of love sculpture and the various plaques bearing messages of apology, healing, forgiveness, and peace. There is a risk in gathering in this way that the wounds of abuse may reopen. And yet we must come together as a church to remember the bad things that have happened this is the only way we can heal, learn, and grow to be better. To be a better church by providing a safe environment for our children, and to be better individuals within the church to ensure that our children are kept safe and secure. We have worked since 1992 with victims of child sexual abuse. And to be able to be here today, having worked with victims to bring this garden to a reality, is just uh, almost beyond belief now that I'm actually here today. The service, uh, very moving, of course. I was overwhelmed by the number of people who were there. And I think what that says to me is we hit a chord of uh, where people's lives are at, of their needs, and hopefully we can continue now to respond to that in a very dynamic way. For additional information, as well as resources for Healing Garden assistance, go to www.healinggardenchicago.org.